Hi students. Today we are going to read From Flower to Honey by Robin Nelson. This book has beautiful photographs that show us up close what things look like. I see bees and honeycombs. From Flower to Honey, what do you think this book will be about? Maybe we can look at the table of contents to find out because our title is about flowers and honey and the photograph we saw on the cover was bees. Hmm. Table of contents. Flowers open is on page four. Bees fly to the flowers is on page six. Bees drink nectar is on page eight. Bees fly home is on page 10. Bees store the nectar is on page 12. A beekeeper takes the honeycomb, that's on page 14. The beekeeper puts the honey in jars is on page 18. Here it talks about honey is sent to stores is on page 20. Time to eat is on page 22. And of course we have a glossary and index in the back. Those are some of the small key details that we're going to be learning about. All of them have to do with honey and bees. Hmm. I think this is a nonfiction textbook about how to make honey. Let's read and find out more. Honey is a sweet treat. How is it made? I think they're going to answer that question and tell us how to make honey. Flowers open. Flowers start to open each spring. There is a sweet juice called nectar inside each flower. Bees fly to the flowers. Bees fly from flower to flower. They are looking for nectar. Bees drink nectar. Bees have a tongue that is like a straw. They suck up nectar with their long tongues. Bees fly home. The bees take the nectar to their home. A bee's home is its hive. The bees pass the nectar to other bees inside the hive. The wooden hives in this picture were built by people. So these wooden boxes are hives. They're not built by bees. These are built by people that have bees living on their land. They keep bees at their house. They're called beekeepers. So the bees go out and they get nectar out of flowers and they bring it home to their hive. Hmm. Bees store the nectar. Bees put nectar into a honeycomb. The honeycomb is made of wax. It has many holes in it. Bees fill each hole with nectar. The nectar dries. It turns into honey. A beekeeper takes the honeycomb. A beekeeper is a person who raises bees for their honey. The beekeeper takes the honeycomb out of the hive. A beekeeper wears special clothing. The clothing protects the beekeeper from bee stings. The beekeeper removes the honey. The beekeeper puts, honey, uh, puts the honeycomb into a machine that spins and the spinning squeezes the honey out of the honeycomb. I love how our photograph helps us understand the text. That must be the machine that spins. And these are the honeycombs that came out of those man-made hives. The beekeeper puts the honey into jars. The beekeeper drains the honey to remove all the bits of honeycomb. 
Then the honey is poured into jars. The honey is sent to stores. Workers load the honey onto a truck. The truck takes the honey to grocery stores. People buy the honey and take it home. Time to eat. The honey is ready to eat. Honey makes food taste sweet. It even tastes good all by itself. Of course, it's full of sugar, so you can't just eat a whole bunch of it by itself. And there's our glossary. Some of the special words that we had in this book were beekeeper, which is a person who raises bees for their honey, a hive, which is a home for bees, a honeycomb, that's a wax container with many holes that bees fill with nectar, and nectar, that's the sweet juice that bees collect from flowers. So how is honey made? First, bees get nectar. They bring it home to their hive. The beekeeper collects it. They spin the honeycombs. The beekeeper puts the honey in jars. Last, it goes to the stores. What words could you use to describe the steps for making honey? First, next, then, last, and maybe even finally if there's lots of steps. Now you know how honey is made. <laughs>